first mistake that you need to look for if you're doing a Roth IRA conversion is paying the taxes on that conversion out of your IRA. Now let me explain what an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is first and then we'll talk through that first mistake. Basically an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is moving money from your IRA to your Roth IRA whether that's a dollar or a million dollars. When you do that it becomes taxable income. Now there's no penalty on moving money from your IRA to your Roth IRA. You only get penalized when you take money out of your IRA or your Roth IRA if you're under the age of 59 and a half. So you can do a Roth IRA conversion at 20 years old or at 90 years old. But the mistake that I see when clients do an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is they use their IRA dollars to pay the taxes on the Roth IRA conversion. And I especially see this on young people, individuals who are under the age of 59 and a half. Let me give you an easy example. Let's say we have a 40 year old investor and he wants to do a $10,000 Roth IRA conversion. So he's going to move $10,000 from his IRA to his Roth IRA. He's in the 20% tax bracket. Okay? So 20% of $10,000 is $2,000 in taxes. Now, let's say this 40 year old says, I don't have an extra $2,000 in savings. What I'll do is I'll take the tax money out of my IRA. So if he does that, essentially he's taken $12,000 out of his IRA. So now instead of just being taxed on $10,000 coming out of his IRA to his Roth IRA, now he's taxed on $12,000, 10,000 of which went into his IRA for investments for his retirement. 2,000 of which went to the IRS. He basically lost that money. So all that hard-earned IRA money that you've been contributing and investing and growing, you just took that off the table and sent it to the IRS. Well, he's also under the age of 40, or he's under the age of 59 and a half. He's 40 years old. So when he took this money out of his IRA, he had to pay a 10% penalty. So not only did he owe $2,000 in taxes on the $10,000, but he actually owed another $200 in a penalty plus his entire taxable income is not $10,000, it's $12,000. So it's $2,400 in taxes plus a $200 penalty. So what's that? $2,600 is his total tax burden. So instead of his total tax burden being $200 or $2,000, it's now $2,600, an extra $600 because he used his IRA to pay the taxes and he lost $2,600 forever because it went to the IRS. So when you're doing an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion, please make sure you have the cash on hand, whether in a bank account or in a taxable brokerage account that you can use to pay the taxes on your IRA to Roth IRA conversion, especially if you're under the age of 59 and a half, do not use your IRA to pay your Roth IRA taxes.